and welcome back to career build series this is episode number 62 and so in the last episode i was able to figure out what the issue was with the slowdown it was with one of my add-ons the add-on worked fine before they updated something and then it started really eating up resources for static vehicle environment and so I started a new save, I gave myself money again, I bought all the bases we had, so we're really not at a loss of where we were, I didn't lose much progress, but we're work it's going great now, so I've had, for example, been pump I had to re-drill the oil hole, I've been pumping oil for an hour, I've been processing, and I have had zero slowdown, so we're in good shape here. And so that kind of has released me to do a bunch of stuff that I wanted to do that I couldn't, and so one of the things we did before was we went ahead and refined some oil, some jet fuel, oil into jet fuel and diesel. And then I moved to the FJ Warner dock. And the point of that is so when I feel ready or when I need money, I can then transport that diesel and the jet fuel to a place where I can sell it and have some money. And so one of the good things we can store it in the workbenches. So we can store it, um, we're currently in the blue hangar at FJ. We can store it in the train. We can store it in the um, we can also store it in the docks at FJ, and then we can very easily, with spawners, load it onto a vessel and transport it out. So let's go ahead and start working on this. So if we zoom out and we look at the oil derrick, currently I have, well, this is, we're in our test world, so you can't see it, but on the actual career world, I have, I redrilled the hole and I put the pumping station that we built on there. If you look here, this is how close the tracks get. We can transpo via truck or we can transpo via rail. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use the train I had from the last career build series. As I advance in the career build series, it gets harder and harder for me to build everything in game uh, or for you guys to see because it's just, you know, some of these, especially the bigger, more complex builds can take hundreds of hours. And so it really gets time consuming. And so, and I also, I don't want to give up on old builds that still work really well. So I built a train last career build series. If you want to see me build that, uh, you can go ahead and I'll uh, I'll link it in the description if I can remember. And so you can watch me build that in the uh, last career build series. All right, and so let's go ahead and, oh, so the plan here is this. We're going to take, you know, we'll be able to assemble and take a train. We'll take it down here and we'll bring it right next to the oil platform. Now, there's two things we can do. One, we can take diesel and we can transpo via train all the way up to here. And we can use hoses to go across. And so I'd stop the train here and we go run the hoses. So there's a couple choices I have here. This is the other one here. If I want to bring diesel and jet fuel to FJ, what I would do is bring the train up, park it here. It's actually not that long of a distance. I should figure it out, which I will. And we'll see how long this is first because this might not work. Let's teleport here. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a marker right on the oil deposit. I think it should be close enough. And if we look there, it is 329 meters, so it's a nice short distance. Uh, let's see. Actually, that's not bad. See, the problem is I can't run out with a person that far, but let's do this. I might do something different. So this, is the, this was the thought initially. I'm going to change my mind here, which you're probably used to at this point. I was going to build a trailer, and so the point was you assemble the train, you bring the train here, you park the train here. Then you take a truck with a trailer, you come over here, and you hook up the hose, you drag the hose over here, and you connect it to the rail cars. It pumps across and fills the train. That was the thought process. The issue is this. That works great here, but as you get other places, it's not going to be as ideal. Uh, like we have one here. We have a rail... Uh, is this? I can't tell if this is... One of these is rail. I think this is rail here. Let's check it. And so the thought is this. Instead of doing... Yep, so this is rail. So instead of doing a trailer, I think we'll do a rail car. Let's do a rail car instead. Already changing my mind. So let's go here. And so what, what this will allow me to do is we cannot... They, they implemented something. We used to be able to, to grab the hoses and drag them as far as we wanted. The devs added, uh, changed that, so you can't. It makes perfect sense. The hose itself would weigh an incredible amount. I know gamification-wise, it's always nice to have a checkbox, but it is also nice to um, you know, have that restriction where you have to do something like this. So one thing we can do is use a little electric cart to move the hose back and forth. All right, so here's a rail ramp car right here. 
So I built this last career build series and this can take a truck on it. And so I tend to use this as my template for, for uh, building rail cars. Let's go ahead and delete some stuff off here. All right, and so we'll use this as kind of our template. So this car is all set up. Nice. All right, so this car is good to go. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add the winches. So if we look at this, that has a 400 mass. I don't care about the mass. I want to know. It's 600 meters. So this will be able to go and connect all the way over there. So that's good. All right, and so what I want to do here is... Instead, I'm trying not to have to pump one at a time, so we'll have to see about this. But let's go. How many? Let's count some spaces here. What's that? Eight in. Eight in. And so these are both 600 uh, meter distances these can go. All right, so let's go like this instead. Cut that, move that forward. And what I'm going to do is have an electric cart. And this electric cart will go in the back here, and I'll pick it up and off with crane instead of doing ramps. And so the little electric cart will actually hook onto the hose, and it will drag it long distances. There's another reason for this, too. If you go up to BBG up in the Arctic, there is a diesel cell point there, and you would have to bring long, a long pumping system like this to make it work. So that's good. So back here, we'll put on a place to put our elect little electric cart. And I have an elect little electric cart already. So pretty simple. I've used this quite a bit. I, don't, I made this a long time ago. And I already screwed it up. Where is it at? There it is. Okay. And so here's the little electric cart. And so I just want to make sure there's enough space for this. And this has a pintle front and back. That's how we'll lock it. So I just want to see space-wise. So we want to put a latch. So we want one space here, and then we want two spaces. So right about is that there. It's right here, maybe. All right, and so that's we need that much space. So what I'm going to do is get rid of that for now, and then go like this, cut these, move these over. All right, merge those up. All right, and now let's grab that electric cart back. And we'll put that back in the center here. I'm gonna, symmetry's on. All right, good. So let's line that up in the center. And so this has a toe point, a pintle on the front and the rear so that it can attach. All right, and so that will go like that. All right, so I'm just going to place it here for now. All right, good. Let's do, uh, we'll try an interesting type of connection point here, see if it works for us. Let's get off symmetry. Could do ropes, but I want to be more complicated because uh, that's how I do it. Let's see if this causes problems if I just simplify it a little bit. See, the problem is you don't want to crush a wheel; it's going to cause you problems. So that's fine there. Let's go ahead and let's let's do the pivots. Okay. All right, and then what we'll do here is try to keep this as simple as possible. So can't place that right like that. Start. Let's try this. Just thinking of locking mechanisms here.
need a crane to put it on. Let's try something as well. Let's grab this again. Let's cut it. Let's turn it sideways. Will it fit sideways? It probably will. Now nah, it's going to hang over. Okay. All right. So what we can do is this. Let's raise this up one and let's test it. So that would be sitting on deck. That's up one. Now right, let's put it up there for now. And let's try this. Symmetry come back on. Trying to find where this goes here. All right. So let's grab one of these. Okay, we'll go right there. So let's try this, see uh, how this works. All right, spawn it. And so I want to see how it behaves. Does it? dance around is it a pain see we're crushing the suspension that's the wheel glitch so the wheel glitch is essentially you're trying to push a wheel through a surface if you do that it has issues where it will cause you to float okay so this one's up one so that's fine so what we're going to do as well is we're going to make these so they can slide a little bit and that will make sure we don't get the wheel glitch where it's not a big deal i don't think on a train but uh it could be a, an issue uh, let's go Pat yellow, I think. All right. Let's try something here. Don't really want it to do that. Let's see if this will work without me overcomplicating it for no no apparent reason. You know, it is a train, it's a little bit different. It uh, does you know, it's not as susceptible to phantom forces. Spawn that. Oh, I need to merge it or else we're in trouble here. So let's merge that. All right, so that is now attached to the deck. I don't see any issues. Like the wheels aren't shaking like crazy. It seems to be behaving itself pretty well, so that's not bad. So pretty simple. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. All right, and where am I? Where's my center of gravity on this cart? I'll have to look it up separately. Let's save this as pumping car. All right, pumping car. Let's load up the cart. Where's the center of gravity? Center of gravity is right here. All right. All right, CG is right there. What do I have in there? Is the drive shaft? That's the drive shaft. So let's go. All right, I'll move it on the one on the train. All right, so it's one block back. Let's go back to pumping car. All right. Might have panels there. Nope. Beautiful. I don't need all that. Let's go like that. All right. Did need that. I know what I was doing the first time. All right, and now we can put a rope anchor there. So now that's at center of gravity, so that's easy for us to pick it up. I'm trying to think. You know what? Let's do this instead.
All right, let's do that. All right, good. And then we're going to put the crane on there. So let's see. Probably knuckle boom type crane, I'm thinking. Pretty simple. Can't see what I'm doing. All right, good. Put that there and then go like so. Let's merge these together. Don't want to spend a ton of time on this. Want to kind of get this just up and running. I have to think of the length and how to fold this up correctly. So it's doing knuckle boom, so it'll be kind of free floating. I'm doing the wrong color here too. All right, he's going one. Not full knuckle boom. I think I was doing the wrong coloring too here. There we go. All right, and then I want just a handle here. For a control edge. Makes it just easy. I don't think I have enough space. There we go. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and start hooking this up. Where is left, right? Left, right, we'll go to these. Up, down, we'll go to this. WS will go to that. One will be release connector. All right, and then I need to configure this so that these are all stickies. And I probably need to slow them down too. So let's go down like 4%. Sticky, 4%. Sticky, 4%. All right. I need to be able to release the other connectors too. So let's grab that back. Let's do trigger, toggle, there's trigger. Trigger, let's do trigger on this one, and then we'll do six just to, because it's out of the way. It looks like I hit it. And then six, we'll do release here. So that will release those. Okay, 
And so we want to be able to load this cart on and off, and then that this is actually what will run the line out to the oil rig. Did I put the handle in upside down? I don't know, I may have. Nope. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit six. All right, and then we want to raise it up, theoretically. That's doing, okay, probably infinite electricity. Yep, that was it. Okay, up is backwards. That's out. All right, and because of this one is started in the central position, I can't move that the way I need to, so I need to re-engineer that a little bit. But let's rotate that. I'm just trying to see proof of concept-wise. That's working proof of concept-wise. All right, good. So this one needs to go down. That's not a big deal. That actually helps us a little bit. That helps us actually quite a bit. So by putting it this way, actually, um, this will help us. All right, like that. All right, good. And I want to grab this. We'll cut this. And we'll go like that. All right, that's good. And then I had issue with this one is backwards, I believe. So we'll cut that. Merge that. And so this will just be so we can easily load the cart on and off. All right, so let's go and hook up now. So this is nice too because it's not trying to attract it right off the bat. We have to actually kind of uh, grab it. Okay, so let's go up. That's the correct way now. Let's go up and then to the left. Mercifully, that's the correct direction. This should grab, okay, six. We go up and then to the right. Pretty intuitive now. And then that will go, WS will go out. And I don't have any ability to rotate this, but that's not the world either. Could put a rotation on it, but it, it doesn't have much to grab, so it's not going to want to rotate. But a lot of the stuff you would grab, you'd hook ropes on anyways if you're doing some of this crane work, and you would push it manually by hand because even like really heavy stuff it's not that hard to push by a guide rope or by hand because it's you know most of the weight is being taken up by the crane so you're just kind of rotating and pushing it come on push ding dong all right let's go up and to the right there we go get the tire clear professional crane operator here people all right and then we'll press space all right, so the crane is detached. Let's put the crane in the correct position for reattach. That's good right there. All right, nice. All right, so the crane works. It's simple. It's easy. Uh, simple is safe. Simple is easy. And we're off, so we'll go run the wire out, the, the hose out to the rig. Simple and easy. And then what we'll do is the train recharges the cars, and when this attaches to its carriage, it will recharge the battery on this, so... Okay, and we just. Oop, oop, oop. I'm gonna go ahead and grab. The, uh, I want to actually get it close first because it could try to grab onto the the back pintle, and I don't want that. So, all right, there we go. Because this doesn't have uh, translation left and right, I have to get it reasonably close, but uh, not terribly close. All right, that's pretty good there. That will probably uh, maybe. Uh, Maybe it won't grab. Come on, come on, come on. Hit it too late. Really, I would rather not have to add the ability to turn it. Parking brakes on. All right. Set the parking brake. Let's go ahead and jump back on. We'll grab it on. Make sure it easily goes back on. Space bar. 
There we go. Uh, press six to energize the the docking clamps. And once it gets close, it should uh, want to grab, as you can see. There we go. Perfect. All right, and so that's pretty good. And that's an easy, simple way to connect it. Spawns nicely, all that. Great, great, great. This is good work. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and paint those for now. All right, so that all works nicely. Let's go ahead and plumb a little electricity here. So we have the electricity coming out of this connector, which gives us power for the everything. And then I want this to go right to the battery. So that one will recharge the battery when it's plugged into its carriage. Uh, that needs to go to that, needs to go to that, needs to go to, what's that? Well, uh, that doesn't need it. There, there, and then there so the locomotive will power all that that is good what is these so i don't need electricity going through here all right all right so i want to run so i'm going to individually want to plug into my different container or um, tanker cars so let's grab this really quick let's go Put a hose anchor here, and we'll throw one here. Make a make this one black. Do rope logic, and then these will start so we don't have to carry hoses on us. Those will just start connected there. All right, and then I'm thinking let's get off symmetry and let's cut holes here and cut one here. Don't know what's under here that I need. Probably nothing. Let me quickly check. Uh, there is a micro right here that needs to move, which isn't the end of the world. That can be moved pretty simply. And we should be able to just move it one to the right, and we'll be good. All right, so this is going to plumb in, and then this is how we're going to actually how we're actually going to power the car or uh, fill the cars up with their uh, fluid. All right, and so we'll go. Right there. Um, these are, I imagine these are going to have to be one way. There's no point in going two directions with this, is there? Offloading. Yeah, we will need two directions. So let's do one side loads, one side offloads. So let's do... Oh, come on. Right there. Okay, that's good. All right. Put a T-piece enclosed here. I don't think the flow should be interrupted because one side's not going to be flowing. You tend to have flow problems when both sides are operating, so this won't have both sides operating. So, But we'll see. Could be wrong. All right, that's going to go like that, and then uh, one inside I have to fix. It's going the wrong way. 
All right, so these will be offloads on this side, and these will be going the other way. These will be going in so that they're pumping in to the train. One side will pump into the train. One side will pump out of the train. Yeah, it just makes it easy. All right, nice. I knew I had color swap on. All right, good, so that's that. And then we wanna do, Pose, and then same here. And just put some hoses there. So these are all anchored. So this will be our inside. That will be our outside. Don't think I want to overcomplicate this at the moment, at least. All right, and that will take care of that. So these will be electrified together. Go there. All right, and then the pumps will go get electrified as well. All right. And then these toggles will turn on. Make sure I select the toggles here there and these two here nice all right good so those are hooked up and that will allow us to pump through these these uh large winches and so i'm gonna put a couple toggles for winch controls uh let's see See how we're looking here, toggles. Kind of making it basic and just using toggles instead of going really crazy and doing microcontrollers. I'll do it later if I want to dress this up. I just don't want to take forever. I'd like to get using this. All right, let's go electricity. I need to hook those up now. And this will let us just winch in and out as necessary. Okay. All right, and then these will do Pump this in. I don't think what this is going to do. That's going to pump out. Pump out. And these will be pumps in. And let's make sure these are all connected correctly. They are. Okay, good. So that is now set up. So this should allow me to do this. So I can park this, you know, you know, up to 600 meters away from the oil rig. I can put the cart over the side. Next thing I need is just a couple of hose anchors to drag from. So what I'll do is this. Kind of dress this up just a hair.
All right, and so we'll hook the hoses up to this, and this will run out to the rig. So let's do this. All right, let's, so let's start assembling a train here. So let's load up the locomotive from last time. So this was it, the diesel loco I made last career build series. So you can watch the videos on that. They'll be in the description. There's a tanker car. And hopefully the pumper car fits in here. It'd be nice to just assemble all this in here and not have to deal with it. I think it will. There we go. All right, nice. So let's spawn this. All right, so this is the way this will work. So this will hit off next to the rig. Let's actually do it. Oh, the loco's not connected. Bear with me as I try to remember how to run this, this sucker. It's been a while, so let's see. What's this? Interlink, okay, don't need the interlink. All right, and we'll have to see where we're going here on the tracks, but. So, what's this track go? Okay, that goes up to the um, where the containers are. I want to come down here. So, I can't tell. So, I can operate from either side. I can't see. The, uh, the tanks are in the way. Can't really see. Oh, I forgot to put a seat there. Nope, we're going the wrong way. Alrighty, okay. Let's go track switcher. Did I not do the track switcher yet? Maybe I didn't. All right, so track switcher is screwy, that's fine. I'll just manually do it for now. Get this track switcher fixed up and cleaned up here. So we need to come down here and then come back up and park it next to where the oil deposit is. Let's do this instead. Let's go ahead and we will recall this. I'm going to double check everything on this train that I need. I'll do fix the track switcher. And we'll actually go bring it in the world and work on and actually make it operate here. So let's see. Make sure I have everything I need to fill this. So I have a hose and a dial. That's all I need there. Hose and a dial, that's all I need there. And then what will happen is these hoses, you'll connect them to uh, these outputs and then hook them up to the cars. So that works. Track switcher I need to figure out. I had this track switcher working. I don't know why it's not working. There was something I did that screwed it up. Let's see. All right, so the composite's there. Track switcher, oh, what's this? Track switcher, the input signal needs Process, track switcher, what is this? Okay. Track switcher, okay, so I, that's why it's not working, okay. That would be why, let's see. So that needs to hook to the panels, essentially. Let's try it now, see if the track switcher works.
That's what happens when you try to throttle up before the engine started. All right, so I'll see if I can see this track switchers. I was almost going to not put track switches in the game, you know, and then now I'm already in a train. So be kind of nice, something a little different here to run a uh, train. All right, so I'm just going to get close, and then we'll see about it switch. I'll, I'll get right next to it. So, okay, so I can see it now. All right, let's uh, go ahead and zero out speed. And so we currently have green on that left side. Let's go ahead and click the track switcher. Green is on the right side. Track switch is working. Okay, good. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go. All the components are saved, but let's save this as um, train pumper. Okay, let's go like that. All right, and I'll meet you back in the regular career builds career build series. Save tongue twister. All right, so here we are at the rig. I put the pumper on. The pumper's pumping. It's also refining, as you can see. If we look over here, this is diesel. 8,800 liters of diesel. Over here we have 8,900 liters of jet. Let's go ahead and teleport. I'm going to try to reduce my teleporting. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do it hardcore necessarily, but I'm going to try to do more of like take a car out there and then come back. But there are going to be times where I teleport. You know, it's... You know, it's it's kind of silly for me just to, uh, you know, if I forget something to spend all that time. So let's go ahead and grab a train. But I'm going to try to minimize the uh, teleportation I'm doing. Good. Thankfully, we had enough money. So we are hurting for money. Let's grab 29 grand. It's not, it's not terrible, but it's not a ton of money. So we have to be careful of that. All right, so let's get on the diesel locomotive. I said that this video was not going to be nighttime because last time was nighttime, or had some nighttime in it, so we're not going to do that. Should put a padded seat on there. Okay. And then I try to do as minimal cheating as. Oh, crap. I'm already in trouble here. I can't tell already. <laughs> come on, come on. Run faster than the train. Bunny hopping does help. <laughs> I could do this with the track switcher, but I'm just going to manually do it. See, and I fell off the train. I need to get back on. So. All right, so that's manually swapped over. Don't get crushed by this train here. All right, I'm going to try not to die here. Do not want to die. Let's do this really quickly. Let's turn respawning on because if I die, all it does is add extra time uh, for me to have to do things. I have to back up the save and try to get back to where I was. Respawning is better, especially, you know, it lets me test things and try things and not be afraid of dying. Crap, 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 crap. Well, James Bond it for a second. Oh my god, am I going to be able to get on this freaking thing or not? Okay. Well, James Bond it a little bit here. So this stuff was built last career build series. Again, I'll, I'll link it. You want to watch it? You can go ahead and watch it. All right, let's go ahead and we'll zero. And I need a track switch there, so click. Nope, that didn't do it. Why is that not? Why is the track switcher now now not working? Ugh. Annoying. Actually, uh, that could be this one behind me. Where are we at? So that's not where I want to go anyway. I want to go. I want to keep backing it up. Okay, I just don't know this well enough to know where we're going right now. So I have to kind of play it by ear. I don't know the train stuff all that well, so. All right, so we still want to go backwards, and I don't know why the track switcher wasn't working then. I just plugged in, so let's back it up. So the electrical from the train here is going to go through and 
uh, power everything. It's it's recharging the car. It's doing all that great stuff. So we're going a good speed now. We're going currently 62. So going a good speed here. So we want to switch over to the other track once we pass it here, and should be coming up here reasonably quick. See, that's the track we want to be on over there. They'll start slowing us down. Just works on a set speed PID, so I set the speed and it does it, so it gives it good m movement for me. I see where I have to swap tracks. It's up here somewhere. Coming up here. Okay. Right there. So I want to move over to this set of tracks once I have the opportunity. Yeah, we'll see if the track switcher works. If not, I'll manually manipulate them. Alright, so let's uh, start slowing down here. Okay. Why is the track switcher not working? I don't know why. It worked on that first one. Now it doesn't want to work. Okay. Maybe I re-screwed it up or something. I don't know. So let's go ahead and we'll manually do it. For now, there's not that many. Oh, I'm falling off my train here. Control from this side, we can see. Alrighty, nice, nice, nice. Get up to full speed. This should take us all the way. So we're currently now on this set of tracks. We came down here and down. Now we're going up this set of tracks, and this should take us to uh, where the oil rig is. Get steady RPS again. And sit in the seat. Now I can't go third person like that. But uh, here we go. So go up to the rig and we will pump some oil into our tanks on our train. And we have a couple options. We could go back to FJ. What I might do and what I think I'm going to do is. We'll continue up and we'll head all the way over to here and we can sell. And so that'll be good. Instead of having to just put in FJ and transfer, we'll go sell. We, we could use some cash. And so uh, one of the reasons I don't like to print money by doing things that are incredibly profitable is it gives me a reason to, you know, it gives me an imperative. It gives me a restriction. I, I want to go do X, but I can't because I don't have the money, you know. So it gives me that reason to go do something. And then some pause here. The fog is just ugly for taking pictures with. But these tankers are pro are pretty oversized, so they they take more. Um, you know, they hold quite a bit, let's put it that way. Uh, the benefit of that is I, I don't have to put, do too long of a train, so I don't have to couple too much. This, <laughs> you would not have the approach, in, you would not have a train tracks this close, you know, a, a low-flying plane would bang the train as it goes by. You wouldn't want that, so. Not good idea. If the devs ever need any sort of uh, aviation information, uh, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to uh, share some insight. All right, good. So we're going to a good clip. We're probably doing like 60-something miles an hour. Is it a mile an hour? I think it's it's got to be miles an hour. 60-something uh, miles an hour here. And so we're, we should probably be somewhere up in here, and so we're almost there.
All right, so we should be getting there soon. There it is, right there. Nope, that's not it. I'm doing this. Uh, like, half these episodes have been foggy, foggy. I'm sick of the fog. I really am. Constant fog is getting old. What is this big bend we have here? Probably this bend maybe here, I'm hoping. So there's the road. There's some of the broken down ships. Should be coming up on it soon here. Yeah, fog's getting excessive. It's like every episode's fog. And then wind was wind was really loud last episode too. Alright, there it is right there. Alright, so we'll start watching and we'll start dropping off speed as necessary. Alright, so we we'll set speed to 10 miles an hour for now. And I'm going to have to switch tracks at some point anyway, but uh, that should, we should be able to bridge this gap and hopefully start filling this up. And I should be able to, ooh, crap. Uh, I may have made a terrible mistake. I don't have any pumps in the, no, the pumper pumps. Okay, never mind. Wow. Uh, I did figure it out. This has no pumps. I put pumpers in the pumper trailer. I was almost going to have a heart attack that I was going to have to go <laughs> redo all this again. But I don't, so that's good. Right. That's on the correct track anyway, and we're ready to stop it here in a second. Let's go ahead and stop. All right, good. So we're going to leave the train running. The train has... Where are you at there? Uh, 3,800 liters of fuel. I believe it's liters. This is a Soviet-era train, so I, uh, it's probably in liters. All right, so let's go ahead um, take a quick pick here now that I've knocked the fog down, and that's less miserable. I'll try to get a thumbnail and uh, yeah, good look at that action shot, him running. Can I get the uh, rig in there? There we go. Nice. Let's get rid of this frag and fog. I'm so sick of it. It's just everything looks washed out and miserable. There's already a washed out element to Stormrex as it is, and so it's like any bit of fog is pretty mizzy. And so, uh, yeah. All right, good. So let's uh, go ahead and let's get this unpacked and moving. So what I want to do here is let's say this will be – so we, let's do all diesel on this. We're going to go to the diesel pumps. Uh, which one are you? This way, copy. Okay. Let's double check. I don't think there's any place I can easily sell jet fuel. That is, train doesn't go there. That's coal. That's diesel, but train doesn't go there. Up here, no jet fuel anywhere close. Okay, so this is both going to be diesel. So, ooh, I've screwed up. No, that's all right. Yeah, I've screwed up. That's That'll be all right. Um, You know what? Let's let's haul it anyway. We can move it back if need be. Let's just let's just do both um, because these. I don't know. Let's check and see what the capacity is on these. I bet the capacity is pretty high. Seventy-three thousand liters. Yeah. So like, you know, I'm not gonna be able to fill up one of them with all diesel. So I might as well split them. All right. Come on, grab the control handle. Ding dong. There we go. Uh, what are we? Six. Six. Okay. All right, there we go. Let's push this off. Try not to hit the tire. A lot of this uh, type of um, crane articulation stuff is, it's timing. It's um, trying to catch it on the swing. Push it and swing. And then we'll come back and push it and swing again. There we go. Come on, grab the handle. Urgh. I have to press the button three times. It is annoying. Because I can't get on stuff quick enough because I have to press the fucking button three times. There we go. All right, good. So 
All right, good. And let's go for a space bar. All right, nice. Let's raise it up just a hair. There we go. All right. And let's grab, jump on the cart. Let's, uh... I didn't mean to press that. Thank you. No. Come on, man. I'm having a no clip because I can't jump. All right, which one are you? You are... I don't hear anything. Oh my god, I should have tested this. No, it's not getting electricity. I'm going to turn infinite electricity on. There we go. Uh, it was just a small error that I created with not hooking up electrical node, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to uh, completely have to redo it because of that small error that I made. So That's it. Alright, so we're going to run these out. Let's activate third persons so I can see what I'm doing here. So the the one on the right had already spooled out. This one I'm just I'm driving faster than it's able to spool. So I'm having to wait for it to catch up. But as you can see, we can uh, reach. And oh crap! I'm not gonna be able to do this because I can't un I can't unhook it. Ugh! Small error just screwed me. All I had to do was put a hose anchor on either side there, and we would be good here. Yep. So this is what we'll do here. Uh, we're on time anyway. So I will redo all this, and all I need to do is add two hose anchors here and here, but this is part of the testing phase, so uh, put a hose anchor here and here, and then I can run the hoses the short distance to here, and we'll be in business. Uh, the other thing I should do is put dual porting. No, maybe not. No, it's, it's not gonna, I'm not going to need to do dual porting, but um, yeah, let's do that. I think that will be the best thing to do. Yeah. All right, so uh, that's what I'll do. We'll end the episode there, and the train is all set up small. Correction, let's actually just do this. Let's fix it. I'm not going to save this world anyway. I keep not doing all my settings here. And then I have to come in and do all these. So, again, this is why I put on the creative menu. Is it just makes it easy for me to do things and fix things. And, like, that was a prime example where I could get frustrated, where it's like I could pretty easily just... Um, not get frustrated, and I can quickly come in here and fix it. And if I had to go all the way back, it would be absolutely brutal. So all I have to do is that, and then... Uh, a little symmetry is my friend here. There we go. A couple of hoses there, and so I will be able to hook those hoses up to the rig itself, and we'll go... See if I can't figure out what the hell is wrong with the track switcher here. We can transmit. Let's see. That is cooked up now. Yeah, so it worked the first time. Uh, I don't know what's up with this. Let me see. So if it's this or this... Should track switch it over. Put the pulses on there so it only counts once. Increment of one, so one will read out. We'll send that composite signal out to switch it. Okay. All right, so that's transmitting. Yep, so that looks right. So I'll go ahead and update that. I'll go ahead and save this. And then I'll move this over and uh, get this up and uh, running. So hopefully the next episode is uh, good to go. All right, we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.